today in this video is I want to share how we can control FIVO relay which is a 4 channel and we're going to use ESP32 so this is a very simple that if you use Arduino Uno to control FIVO relay which is very simple because Arduino has a built-in FIVO output from here which is from this side so 5 volt and a 3.3 volt and a 2 ground and what is a v, uh, v in so to control any 5 volt device it's a very convenient to use Arduino Uno because they already have a built-in 5 volt output but ESP32 they only have 3.3 volt output here so there is no 5 volt output from uh, ESP32 but sometimes if you just control one piece of the relay which is 5 volt it will trigger enough to make it on and off using 3.3 volt but especially for 2 channel relay or 4 channel relay or 8 channel relay it is not enough to supply the 3.3 volt to make it on for the relay so what we can do is we can have extra 5 volt power supply then we can control 5 volt relay from ESP32 so here there are a lot of uh, digital input output then you can select according to which pin you want to use VCC, VCC at first I'm going to connect to 3.3 volt from ESP32 so the 3.3 volt will be this side and I'm going to use jumper wire and we'll connect to the 3.3 volt so 3.3 volt we connect to a VCC and ground we connect to the ground here and in one relay one we connect to digital pin number 14 and in two relay two we connect to digital pin number 27 and in 3, relay 3, we connect to digital pin number 26 and relay 4, in 4, we connect to digital pin number 25 so you need to connect respectively and you can change any digital pin if you like to so the connection, everything is the same uh, this is the output, the output will be I'm just using for a 12 volt light bulb and you can use any 12 volt or 24 volt on 240 volt so because the relay output is you can use both AC or DC which is will be below 10 ampere so the wiring will be very simple so I have 12 volt and positive we connect to common pin and positive we loops to common every common pins will look positive and then we up from one light bulb we out to one light bulb positive and the second light bulb we out to the second light bulb which is positive so every light bulb we out from all is the normally open so I'm I'm gonna use for four light bulb and all the ground from the light bulb we connect to the ground of 12 volt alright so uh, wirings uh, connection everything is complete and I'm using this is 12 volt power supply AC to DC power supply which is 12 volt and 3 ampere because uh, my light bulb is a 12 volt so I'm using 12 volt power supply right here and this is 12 volt to 5 volt to step it down the DC which I'm going to use for later so let's try to upload the code or we will make it a relay to on and off so on on off on off on off on off so for relay we make it on off on off on off All right so let's uh, upload the code This is the code that we're going to upload to our ESP32. 
So this code we make it relay on and off because we're using for four channel of the five relay and this is digital pin which we use for ESP32. So here's a pin number digital pin number 14, 27, 26, 25. You can change any pins if you like to and this will make it on and off. So relay one on off. So this is the delay timing. You can adjust if you like to. And 10. So uh, so we're going to upload the code. Now make sure that you select the right bot. Um, you see my ESP32 is DevKey V1 which is the model. And you must select according to which model you're using. And, and this is the bot.com. So you will see here the pop com. So the com tree. Alright, so let's upload the code. And make sure that you watch my previous video that's how to use uh, ESP32 with Arduino IDE. Then we're going to change a little bit uh, inside uh, to set up the code with Arduino IDE. Otherwise, you will not successfully upload. Alright, so let's. Uh, click upload and when you click upload then you must press the boot button on ESP32 alright this type gonna be success so done upload the code and here a living hard resetting via reset pin hub which means uh, now our code is already done upload and then what we can do is we need to press the e en button which is the reset button so I press the reset button the relay is the relay board is work so our code is work so on off on off on off So we can see our relay board is work. It's uh, make it on off, but the relay why is not triggered. This will not make it on and off. So we cannot hear any sound. So there is no contact. So because here ESP32 it just provide only for three point three volt, and then the relay is five volt. So this is not enough to make it on off to make it on off for contact. So what we can do is we can have a separate power supply which be 5 volt uh, according to the relay. So I'm having here which is 12 volt. 12 volt we make it a uh, control for the light and I'm using here is 12 volt we uh, step it down to 5 volt. So make sure that you are using 5 volt because here uh, this is 12 volt, by right is 12 volt, so 12 volt we goes to uh, step down and we down to uh, 5 this 5 volt we connect to relay so from here this is 5 volt the ground the ground we goes to the ground of ESP32 and 3.3 volt we need to remove here I'm going to remove 3.3 volt and the VCC we connect to 5 volt positive. So the moment I connect a uh, 5 volt positive here, then the relay is on. So now even though this is 3.3 volt output from ESP32, we are not using 3.3 volt anymore. Our 5 volt positive we connect to VCC of the relay and a 5 volt negative we connect to the ground of ESP32. So you must not connect 5 volt positive to ESP32. Yes, we only connect to VCC of the relay. So now our code is working on and off.
So this is the way that how you can control ESP32 to the 50 relay bot. And the next video I will make how we can control all this four channel 50 relay with ESP32. Uh, we're gonna use for a Wi-Fi view in uh, this. I hope this video will help for someone and thank you for watching my video.